All right, what's up everybody? Today we are going to be going over the Mazda Miata Holly Performance Coolant Reroute Kit. So first things first, why am I doing a reroute kit and why I chose this one? So from what I've seen in past forums and videos, a lot of people that either have turbo their Miata or supercharged their Miata, they run into issues with cylinder four getting too hot or a head gasket failure at the cylinder four. The reason being is because when Mazda originally designed this car, they used a pre-existing B-series engine which came off a front wheel drive car. Now what they did was they put this engine into this car and turned it 90 degrees and changed the coolant passages. So originally the inlet and the outlet were on two different sides. What Mazda did is put the inlet and the outlet at the front of the car. Now that affects the flow of the coolant through the head and through the motor. What the reroute does is restores the original design from the factory. So there are other companies that make this kit such as Flying Miata, Super Miata, Baggy and I've seen people have certain issues mainly with the Baggy kit uh, I'm not sure if it's been updated yet, but basically from what I've seen, the spacer that they made, um, the water neck housing overlaps the spacer, which is, and then causes it to leak. I'm not sure if that's been um, fixed or not. Maybe it has. But a reason I got this kit was because of the fact that the value that it, it is, it was pretty cheap. And on top of that, it had, comes with everything you need. It, come, it gives you the gaskets, you get a stamp 180 degree uh, thermostat, it comes with the heater core fitting, you get the spacer which comes with three ports, heater core fitting, uh, the temperature sensor, and you get an additional one which you can choose to run a gauge or whatever well, from what I believe. Next you have your heater hose, I mean your hose clamps, radiator hose clamps, uh, the water neck housing, you get hardware, and you get your big hose. One thing that the kit does not come with that you have to choose um, based off of what you are planning on doing with the car is the front block off. What I got is just a block off plate for the thermostat neck housing. You can, they have an option of the block off plate or a freeze plug, which deletes the entire thermostat neck housing. I just did the block off plate because I'm gonna use the barbs off that housing for my turbo. That's the only thing that doesn't come with the kit. So with that being said, let's get this installed. You don't wanna get this sensor off uh, before unbolting anything. It's not really that tight, but you just get an, uh, a wrench on there, lightly tap it with a hammer. I already did that so once you do that this will unscrew off so you got that out these are 12 mils so now that we got this out of the way I'm just gonna scrape this gunk off and then see what we're working with We're gonna pull this stud out, so I'm gonna show you how to do that if you don't know how to do that. You're not sure if you guys can see that that well from there, but so what I did is this is the stud that has to come out. I grabbed two nuts, tightened one all the way in, the other one flush to the other nut, locked them together, and then what you do is you pull the nut from the back out. So if you're trying to take out a bolt, and then this should turn. And that should pull the stud. All right, so once you got all that cleaned up, you can go ahead and start installing your spacer. Uh, so one gasket will go on the back, the other will go on the front. What I did is I already put the sensor in. This one gets no thread sealant because you don't want to electrically uh, insulate the sensor and get a bad reading. Uh, I put some thread sealant on this heater hose fitting, uh, tying that up by hand. We'll tighten that up a little bit. Both of these are uh, 19 inch socket fits. Over that, 
so also this is an mpt fitting so you it obviously won't sit flush all the way in you just tighten that until you can't tighten it anymore don't put any more leverage on it because this is aluminum and you could mess up the threads so put the spacer on get the thermostat go ahead and put the other gasket on and the neck housing so then get your bolts all right we're at the front of the motor now so we're gonna get both of these bolts out pull out this housing pull out the old thermostat clean it up same procedure get this stud out clean this up and then um, and then the kit comes with some new nice hardware so we're gonna use that Front's blocked off. All right. All right, guys. So that was pretty much the install of the Holly Performance coolant reroute. I don't have any affiliation with them. I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how it would look like to install it out of the car. I know it is possible to install it with the engine inside the car but it is a bit more of a hassle so they do recommend doing it while the engine is out it just makes life a little bit easier so if you guys are interested in getting this specific kit I will leave the links below in the description uh, I will they do have their own website and also they have their listings on eBay so that's the end of this video if you guys could do me a big favor hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thanks guys